Hello you magical monsters. In this video we will take a look at the top 4 quality of life mods that I have found so far for this game. As the game is very new at this time, there are not many mods yet available. But I highly recommend trying out these 4 mods to improve your overall experience with the game on PC. That said, let's check the first mod in this video. Which is the mod to silence the flu powder fast travel lady, Miss Wildsmith. While her remarks are somewhat nice for the first few times, her spouting of the same old tired remarks every 5 minutes of gameplay get very old very quickly after playing a few hours. This simple mod will remove her audio and subtitles from the game, giving you the much wanted silence from her. After only 3 or 4 hours of gameplay, I found myself saying shut up lady every time I heard her speak those same lines again and again. How nice to see you, my young friend. What are you up to now? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. With this mod, you can make her silent permanently. Next, we have another amazing quality of life mod, the Auto Homora by a modder named VTLI, which will simply skip the very annoying minigame with picking a lock. I've been thinking the past 40 hours of gameplay that the third level of Alohomora spell should simply remove the lock without the need to play the sickening minigame. I've found myself avoiding the locks around the world because I don't want to play that shitty minigame ever again. This mod fixes this problem. The mod is in early development and has a minor graphical glitch when used. But for me, that's nothing compared to the fact Hello. that I don't have to play that minigame anymore. Alohomora. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Alohomora. Beautiful work, VTLI. Thank you for this mod. The third mod we have in this video is a visual upgrade by the WTF Man, which aims to remove the excessive fog, depth of field, lens flares, vignette, and tries to enhance the contrast of the game, some reflections sharpness and character model appearance. The changes in this mod are rather substantial and will not please every gamer, but it's well worth mentioning nonetheless. The game will look drastically different with this mod, as you will see from my comparison footage. Just keep in mind that some areas in the open world will have a clear texture loading pop-up visible and some other areas will not look too good. 
how you like changes like these is very subjective and you must judge the quality of your own gaming experience on a personal level. I like this mod and will continue to use it for the time being. Thank you the WTF man for this mod. And while we are flying around, let's check out one more mod that I found. That would be the Dragonogriff by Zoe and Zuri. This mod will simply change the in-game hippogriffs into dragons. There are some minor animation issues while mounting the dragon and some other movement of the dragon are not yet fully realized, but damn this mod made my day. I should investigate. Note that the Hippogriffs in Vivarium will change into dragons as well, but will still be named Hippogriffs and they will give you Hippogriff Feathers. That's all the magic for this video. I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. If so, you might drop a like, maybe even subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, you magical monsters.